Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and this is day three of 3D Printmas. If you're wondering what 3D Printmas is, I'll put a link to the playlist up in the corner. In a nutshell, I will be posting a brand new model every day in the month of December. But if you'd like more details, check out the playlist. There's an intro video, and then you can see the first two days of models as well. So, on to day three. Now this one's actually related to another model that I did, this PS4 right here. And if you'd like to see the video for this, uh, check the little eye up in the corner. It'll take you right to this video. So up next in the console line, we have the Xbox One. Now this time I actually left off the hanging piece. Um, last time I thought it'd be fun to make these into like a keychain or something like that. I got a few comments saying people didn't really like the design of the little tab that I put there. Um, so I left it off, but you guys can import this into Tinkercad pretty easily and add just a loop there very, very easily. So I created this in Fusion 360, and luckily I have an Xbox One sitting right next to my computer up here, so I could just use that for reference images. Um, I just measured it up and then um, added in all the details. And as you can see here, it's a pretty simple box shape. I didn't go super detailed and add all the ports and everything on the back, just because at this small I don't think that those would come out very well. Um, and I don't think they're really needed. And some of these logos are actually bigger than they are on the Xbox. So this is definitely meant to be more of a smaller piece um, that's used for a keychain or something like that, rather than being an actual replica of the console. But I did make a little imprint of the Xbox X right there. Here's the disc slot, the Xbox logo up on top. And then I have got the vents up top here. And basically what I did is I took a really long, thin box, angled it about 45 degrees, or maybe 30 degrees, and then just patterned it all the way across this and um, cut off the sections that I didn't need. And as you can see, that gives a really nice effect that I think really makes it look like an Xbox. And then of course you can see I've got the beveled edges to make it look more Xbox-like. So after I was done modeling this, I sent it to Simplify 3D, got it ready for printing on my DaVinci Pro 1.0. I used a 0.1 millimeter layer height, um, doesn't need any supports or raft or anything like that. And then after I was done printing, I handed it off to my wife who um, primed it and then painted it like you see here. Now actually what I think she did with this is she painted the entire thing white because those inset details are white as you can see and then she went in with a sponge afterwards and dabbed to get the black on the outside. That way she didn't have to go in with a super tiny paintbrush and try and get those details in there. Okay guys, well I hope you thought this was cool. If you want to print one of these for yourself, the links to the files are down in the description. And then if you thought this video was cool, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed if you're not already. And with that, we will close out day three of 3D Print Mess. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you tomorrow.